Hello everyone, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Today we're going to be continuing it on from what seems to be the end of the Sussex questline. We had to come back to our camp here and Sigurd is waiting for us. We're going to speak to Sigurd inside, but I'm pretty sure this is where we're going to be ending up this Sussex arc. It said arc completed at the end of the last episode, but here we go. Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice, I hear. What? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Branvi, Branvi will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife. Brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch, Fulke, do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen. What I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman Mars. I know who I am. I know my destiny. And you will not hinder me! Brother, forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, well, okay. Sigurd has Today lost the plot. Is a day of celebration. Where's Sigurd gone? But Fulke definitely said something to him, right? Like, he wouldn't just act that weird. Survey the area, Sudan. For no reason. There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark Dyke defending my honor? So he claimed. But he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out. But... Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. And for all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand, but all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look. This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend returned to where he is loved and cherished, where he's meant to be. You are kind, but your eyes are clouded by the past, a place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name.
letter. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. Okay, so we could probably give our pledge in now, but before we do that, we'll check out this new letter. Oh, we got two, Burston and Eric is. We'll need to raise the barn if we're going to get the farm ready for the festival. Okay, hello Ivor. I've sent you a small gift. I bet you would like this bow. I wish I could do more. You've helped me get back on track and reconnect with Alfida. I'll never forget it. Thank you, Ivor Burston. Oh, sweet. That's the gift. Ark of Elan. Hunter bow. Ah, oh, damn. Hunter bow. I don't think that's really what we're going for. Oh, actually, a hunter bow is what we're going for. That's what we want. Each successive hit temporarily increases ability damage up to 10 times. Increase range damage when hitting weak points. That's what we're using now. Each successive hit turn. That's not that bad, actually, if I'm being really honest. Like, these two are, are up there for, for the top spot right now. Both of these. I think I'm just going to continue with my Hunter Bow now, just because it is already a mythical bow. And uh, we don't really have too many Tungsten Bars, so our options of bows is pretty limited, because this is already fully upgraded. So I don't really want to waste any more Tungsten Bars on something that we may or may not use. So we'll leave that for now. Alright, we'll go over to Granvy, and we can report on our, what was it, Sussex? And start up the Good next day. pledge, I guess. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he is barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. Alright, sweet. Twirling targets, okay. So, it did give me a little bit of a settlement upgrade then. Just then. And I'm not sure if that's because I finished the... The Sussex questline, because it said at the end of the Sussex questline, I think I do get a little bit of a settlement upgrade. So maybe it upgraded something automatically in the settlement that I was unaware of. I'm not 100% sure. But that's right. It says here we're going to speak to her to continue on, so we will do that. I want to see the Alliance map. So this is done. All this stuff down here, all this stuff in the middle is done. We can do this. Gloucestershire, that's suggested about 220. We could do that, 250, that is also an option, but for the time being, I think we'll do this one, Lincolnshire, because this one requires us to be 190, and this one's 160, so this what about Lincolnshire? a good spot. A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. Lincoln Shire it is. Let's go meet him at the docks, shall we? You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it... Ode to a hungry flame. Another skull to come to join us. Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no scald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your mead. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. Yeah, I am Eivor. <laughs> you are talking with him now, and you are? 
Ah, oh, by God's blood, my day begins with a lash of good fortune. I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That's a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. I mean, yeah, we can do that. Are you worried about your father? Yeah, it why not? Maybe we can help you. But we'll want something in return. An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son, robbed of his father's protection, now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of the shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the ruin. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that, I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord's boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. Lincolnshire Ark started. The Lay of Hunwald. Okay. So what did he say? Meet him in Bottlesworn. Something like that. Let's check out on the map where that might be. Ah, over here. Oh, here, here it says. Bottles von Bottleston. Okay. <laughs> I have so much trouble pronouncing the uh, pronouncing the names in this game, but it's alright. So well, we just got this synchronization point here. So we'll head up north east this little town over here and I think on the northeast of this town there might be another synchronization point yeah to the east of this town here we might not go get this just yet because it is a fair fair bit away but we'll definitely go over here and collect the quest line so it's over that way oh we got some order clues as well when we talked to that bloke so if we go into our auto menu right now. So we killed Falke. That was the, the update that we recently got. We've got two of two of three of this one. And we still don't know the other three here. We know this one's called the Leo. Okay, but that's about it. And this one's called the Father. So, continuing on. Okay, so it seems like we might have to meet up in this longhouse here. Yeah, there we go. It definitely looks like it's inside the longhouse. Unwald, who is this stranger? Eivor, come sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me, one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. 
Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alfgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Hunvold. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Hunvold, your father's ill, and your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan, or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Of course, my friend. I am a man of action above all else, ready to leap and dance and fight. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard! A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! <laughs> oh, do not fuck with me. That sounds good. <laughs> Have you ever seen a blood eagle, my Saxon friends? A what? A blood eagle. A raw, magnificent bird I'll tear from your guts. First, I crush your ribs. Then I pull out your lungs and stretch them into wings, so you can fly to your heaven as fast as possible. Jesus fucking Eden. You canny fox. That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. He'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written about man in history. Alfgar, the boorish nag of Lincolnshire. I told Hunwald to stay near. Where did he wander off to? I don't know if that guy's always drunk or just always happy. Ah, over here. Hunwald is in trouble. I guess that works as well. Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Bottleston will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me! The son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire? So before we before we just start walking, would it be quicker here to just take the boat and go down here? It probably would, hey. It'd probably be quicker to just take the boat. Dishonor me. Look, boats there. We could sail the waters to Lincoln. Ah, oh, there we the go. Ships of any enemies in our way. They pretty much just told us what we're what going to do anyway. What were you told when the guards <laughs> exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming, 
A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky! Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No, I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. Perhaps you're right, he's too contained. It must have been King Alfred, then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no equal. Your Dane lady love. Right. So before we go too far, let's go over to our skills menu and invest in these points that we just got. So we've got ability damage, assassination, good stuff. And it seems like that in front of us right there is the town that we have to visit now. Oh, yep, all the way over there. Okay. The city of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. If they see me, this will get messy. So we'll go, we'll continue here and go through here. I think it might be a little bit easier to dock on this side. Ocean guards everywhere. Follow me. Right behind you, Shadow Walker. My heart beats like the drums of your dragon boat. So if we can get to pretty much where we need to go. Oh, there's people up there in front of us. Okay. Probably have to climb the wall then here. Hopefully he can come as well. Can he climb the wall? What do you see? Hmm, he might not be able to climb up here. I guess we'll just go to where we need to go. Oh no, here we go. He just he can just walk straight past the guards apparently. So that doesn't matter. This town was your home? It was and should still be. Oh to see it now fills my eyes with tears. Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside. Escort Hanbold to his home, okay. There's guards everywhere though, bloody hell. This place is so secure. But I think this should be a roundabout where we need to go. Alright, then here. Left, my friend. Oh no, maybe not. What do you see, Sunan? Oh, what? He didn't come with me because I forgot to open the door? Really? Okay, apparently. <laughs> apparently I had to open that door for him. Yeah, so I was correct with going through here. Reagan hair, body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Have you looked for him? 
Oh, I dare not go asking after him, for fear of stepping above my caste. But he'll be in good hands, don't you worry. Up there with the abbess and her sisters and all. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there? At the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. Can we not go through there? Okay. I guess not. So we have to go help him find his... Or help him get to the town hall. Apparently. Who was that fellow? Reagan hair? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place. And he's known me since I was but a little lordly. A simple fellow, but worth every inch of his salt. Over that way, okay. So we're gonna have a little bit of trouble with this bloke because he can't climb any walls. Or so it seems like. So if I climb up here, I'm not sure he's gonna be able to follow me over. He might just stand there. And that is gonna be a little bit of a problem. So he just stands there. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to like take him by the hand then. The market is flush with goods. Yes, it must be. Growing up, we never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread and poultry and field fruits of all manner. I suppose this is where our servants purchase them. Lincoln's boon was ours as well. How often did you leave your house in Oh, from time to time. Do you think we can sneak yes. by these guys? Apparently not. But that worked just as well. <laughs> Double assassination. I'll take it. Archer, Herevry, tell Lord Hunbeor his son has returned. My lord, you're well. Lord Hunwar. We had no news of your return. You might have sent a messenger and spared us the suspense. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north, bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I'm not the Dane he's been plowing, and I don't own a farm. I know you mean well, Bishop, but there's no cause to insult Swanborough's honor. You leave my lady love out of this. Ha. Ah, your mystery Dane has a name. Sadly, the people of the Shy will hardly be comforted. Now that you have swelled your father's tolerance for pagans into a sin. I have no patience for insult and rumor. We have come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That is all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Unwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against the Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence. With a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. Hunvald has seen the point of a dagger more than once this week. I'm only here to protect him. Your father was at my hospice for some days, and very well treated. But he left in secret. That's all we know. In secret? That's odd. He's not one to scurry about in the dark. I'm sorry, Hunwald. 
We have searched high and low for him, but to no avail. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scaring thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I'll have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Alrighty. Quest completed. Homecoming. So we're going to go talk to the healers and find out what they know about his dad. But for now, that is where we're going to leave it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more stuff like this, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.